That breaking news that we've been following for the last 45 minutes. The USGS confirms a 6.5 magnitude earthquake shook southern Idaho. Take a look at this video. And we're hearing it was felt in parts of eastern Washington, including Spokane. This is video just into our newsroom. And most of the video on social media shows some lights swaying. In some cases, people said those lights kept swaying for about five minutes. And on the phone now, we have Paul Bowden. He's head of the Pacific Northwest Seismic Network. Paul, thanks for joining us. Oh, happy to join you. So, Paul, we don't often hear about earthquakes in Idaho. So how unusual is this? Well, yeah, you, 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 we don't hear that much about uh, Idaho earthquakes because they are fairly unusual. The last one that, uh, that was this big was in 1983. It was the, in Bora Peak. Uh, Idaho, in, which is a little bit east of this, maybe about 60 miles east. And we know there was a bit of a lag time in response. The USGS didn't quite have that data up for some time. Can you explain why that is? Is it because of location? Well, uh, I, I think in this case, it's probably more likely because of uh, um, social distancing. Uh, everyone's working remotely and we're uh, all scrambling to try to communicate with each other in unusual circumstances. So it took us a few minutes longer than, than um, it would have otherwise. Okay, well, certainly everyone can understand that. Uh, Paul, 6.5, that's a pretty high magnitude. So often people, when we hear a number like that, we're worried about aftershocks. How likely is it that we'll feel an aftershock, especially even in the state of Washington? Well, I have to tell you, I, I'm I'm been surprised. Uh, you know, I'm catching up as as you all are, um, and I've been surprised that there haven't been reported aftershocks yet. Because, uh, like I say, the Bora Peak earthquake many years ago had just tons of aftershocks. So this this is um, this has been a little bit quiet. Okay. Um, I I do think, however, that people should be prepared that there can't you know that there probably will be some aftershocks and, and some of them perhaps large enough uh, to be felt in, in parts of Washington. Okay, and Paul, uh, we are wrapping this up, but I just want to quickly ask you, uh, you've had no res reports of any damage, correct? No, this earthquake occurred in uh, uh, an unusually quiet place and remote from urban population centers, at least 60 miles from Boise and uh, and where it was felt, it strongly felt over a large area, but the shaking was not strong enough to cause damage. Okay, great news. Paul, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Oh, you're very welcome. Take care.